Hey guys, let me pick this up. Um, for this read around, you're not going to see me so much because I want you to be able to see the poems. Um, and that means I got to be out of the video, but you'll hear me talking and reading them. Okay, so the first poem we're going to do is a Y poem. And you see the letter Y right here. Let's um, write it together so you can put your writing finger in the air or like on your pants or even on your floor or your couch. So you choose where. So we're gonna start with the first one. Um, I'm gonna do a tall down and then I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna slant down and then I'm gonna slant back up. And see my Y isn't perfect. So yours doesn't need to be perfect either. And then for the lowercase y, I'm gonna do a slant down and just a short one. And then I'm gonna do another slant down that's a little bit longer for the lowercase y. And we know that y says y, so we're gonna sing that little y sound song that we do. Y says y, y says y. Every letter makes a sound and y says y. Now this is a poem for y. And we're going to read it together, and then I'm going to uh, circle all the Y's I see. If you think that yams are yummy, yell out yes. If you think that yams are yummy, yell out yes. If you think that yams are yummy, yell out yes and rub your tummy. If you think that yams are yummy, yell out yes. And look, she has a speech bubble that says yes. So let's see if we can find our whys. And I'm gonna point out some parts of the, um, the poem that uh, have some um, special marks, like, like an exclamation part, like right here. So I'm gonna point out some of those today too. So I see two whys up here. Let's look and see if we can find any whys in this one. Yep, here's one. one and here's one and then I see right here this special little mark that's like looks like a little tail or a hook is called a comma I see another Y here and a capital Y here and this where it has like two little hooks together that's called a quotation mark I see another comma right here This line has a Y here, and one here, and one here. Oh, I forgot a Y up here. Did you catch that? Miss Marlene forgot one. In yummy, it has two Ys. That's a tricky word. And then I have a Y right here, a Y right here. Let's look at this line. What, how many Ys do you see in that one? I see one here, one, two, three, and four. Okay, now let's look at this line and see how many we can see. Now look at this line. Can you see any Y's as I'm running my finger underneath there? Let's see. I think I see four. I don't think I missed any in there. Now let's look at this line. If you see a Y, let me know. And then there's this Y here, of course, inside her speech bubble. Okay, let's count how many Ys we found. We're not gonna count the ones I wrote. One, two, three. Let me use my marker to help count. Let's start over. One. Oh, you know what? We forgot this line in the parentheses. These little 
slat, these little rounded slash lines that look like this. There's some Y's in there too. Let's circle those. It's telling me how, um, what I, what song I have to use to help sing it. That's what that tells you. I don't usually read it to you, but you have to sing the song like if you're happy and you know it, the same tune. So let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. That's a lot of counting. 32, and a 32 is a three with a two next to it. So we had 32 Y's in this poem. Now we're gonna switch to our counting poem. We're gonna look at the number 10 today. I'm just gonna move this down. And then put this up here for you to see. Okay. So I see the number 10, and we're not going to circle 10s. I'm just going to show you where it is. Here's a 10, and here's a 10, and here's a 10. And this is just a little counting poem to help you count. Um, 10, write it with me, is a, get your writing fingers out, and you can do it again on your couch, on your floor, on your leg, in the air. So we're going to do... A, a 10 is a one and a zero next to it, so we're gonna do tall down. And then we're gonna do our zero, which is just a big circle around. That's 10. And the name of this poem is 10 Pink Piggies. So apparently it's gonna be about pigs. I see a pig, I don't know, is it licking? No, that's a, that's a hoof. It kind of looks like a, a tongue at first, but it's actually his, his hoof, and he's, he's counting the little boy's toes. So 10 pink piggies. One, two, three, four, five, little piggies in a row. Those piggies stick together no matter where they go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, more piggies side by side. They all like walking barefoot, when the weather's hot outside. Pink piggies, big and small, all muddy in between. It's time to take a bubble bath and get those piggies clean. Do you like to walk outside when um, barefoot with no shoes on when it's hot out? Miss Merlene doesn't like shoes very much. You've noticed in our classroom when I take them off. Um, when, when I'm outside though, I have to wear my shoes unless I'm at the beach because my feet get hurt. But I do like to be barefoot in my house and I like to wear sandals. Um, so that was our 10 pink piggies rhyme for the number 10. And you can always count your piggies and see how many you have. Hopefully you have 10, most people do. Some people might miss, be missing a piggy though. That happens sometimes, but so I will see you for our next read aloud.